Okay, welcome to the third episode of uh, how to make a pizza delivery program. Now we're going to add an invoice and an items table. Um, these will ultimately be the tables that hold the sales that come in every night. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our fast form. We'll start with an invoice. This will be a browse and edit. Now. As I tab out of this, you'll notice that the field there goes white. Now that's because there isn't already a table in here. So creating this fast form will create the table as well. All right, so there we go, there's our main form. And now we're going to create a subform. Same thing applies here. This is isn't already in the database, so those fields will go white. So we're going to add product, two number fields, and a calculated field here. And we need to give it a foreign key that will link back to the invoice table. So we'll go and rearrange the objects to start with. We'll take these calculated fields, we'll put them under the invoice. Not just there, about there, that way that they'll line up with the total in the item subform when we get there. That'll be able to do it, I think. I'll make this tax field a bit smaller, it doesn't need to be that wide. Alright, now we need to change the subform here. And pick the one we made earlier. Okay, now we'll see what it looks like. It probably doesn't quite fit in the subform yet. <coughs> so we'll go and make this a bit thinner. Make units a bit thinner. Right now, in the next video, we'll be setting up calculations and we'll be doing things like getting descriptions from the products table and putting them on the invoice. The same with the customer name, we'll be putting that on the invoice. So that's all to come in the exciting next episode.